and tired of all of the nonsense there is on manifestation on the internet. I swear to God, everyone is trying their hardest to make it way more complicated than it needs to be. Every single day I see a new manifestation method popping up on the internet. I'm talking the pillow method, the yesterday method, the 369 method, the 77 times seven method. So I have made it my mission to make this super easy for you. All you have to do is watch this video and after that, you will walk away with all of the knowledge you need on manifestation. You will never have to watch another video on manifesting methods again. You will never have to put in another Google search or ask somebody how to manifest. Because in the time that you were spending every single day trying to catch up with all of these new manifestation trends, you could have actually been manifesting your life. And I know that because at 22 years old, I have already manifested majority of my desires. The apartment I'm filming in right now, manifested it. The lifestyle and career I have, manifested it. The 100K followers I hit the other day on Instagram, manifested it. This plaque, manifested it. The first class degree I got from university, guess what, manifested it. The business I own, manifested it. The relationship I'm in, manifested it. Oh, and it was super easy. I am so tired of everyone wasting their time with meaningless repetition exercises. So this is how you actually manifest your dream life. I also wanna say a big thank you to Shopify who are sponsoring this video, but we'll touch on that more later. For now, let's jump right into the video. Chapter number one, understanding manifestation. The biggest thing you need to learn here is that you are going to have to accept that you are about to give up your life. And by that, I mean your old life, because when you are in the process of trying to manifest better things for yourself, you better get used to the fact that old relationships are going to fall away. All of a sudden, you don't talk to your friends anymore. You might have to leave your job. You might have to move away. And you're going to have to deal with a lot of difficult lessons all of a sudden, and it's going to feel like your life is crumbling down. When you're manifesting, sometimes things can get really bad before they get really good. Personally, when I was manifesting more happiness and success, all of a sudden, all of my friendships fell away in university. My health relationship turned toxic like overnight. All of a sudden I wasn't going out partying in uni anymore and I was home all of the time and it felt boring and depressing and I didn't know how my life all of a sudden turned into this. It's now one year and four months later and I am so glad all of that drama happened because now I realize the friendships had to be out of my life. I shouldn't have been dating that person and I shouldn't have been partying every week. Instead, I was put into more of a lonely state which hurt at the time, but ended up being the reason that I am where I am in my life right now. I asked the universe for more abundance, happiness and success and it gave that all to me, but it had to remove the things that were sabotaging it from coming into my life in the first place. Manifesting won't just result in gain, it will force you to distance yourself from things that you love and that you're comfortable in so that it can prepare you for the bigger things you're destined for in life. And that is why trust is the most important factor in this entire process. I am at a point in my life now where I cannot even remember the last time I cried because I have so much faith in the universe and that my life is only gonna keep getting better that why would I cry? Yes, okay, that didn't go to plan or today was really frustrating, but that means something's happening, something's changing. There's some sort of evolution or growth going on. And a few months down the line, I'm gonna know exactly why that thing happened. Everything is always happening in my best interest. I'm wishing to the universe that I want more money. Oh, why am I getting rejected from all of these jobs? Because there's a bigger thing on the way that's gonna give me that desire. So trust is the first and most important factor when trying to manifest. Now let's go through the other rules that you should always remember so you don't make any mistakes throughout this process. Rule number one, you must meet the vibrational frequency of your desired life. This is a vibrational frequency chart, okay? This is the energy that you are constantly operating at. If you are anywhere in the bottom half of this chart, you are going to repel all of your manifestations from coming to you. You want to be operating towards the top, peace, love, joy, enlightenment. And this links into gratitude. You need to be so thankful to the universe for what it's already given to you in your life and only then can you attract more. You have to speak about your dreams as if they have already happened. So let's say you wanna manifest more money. You need to start that by already being grateful for the money that you have in your life, even if it's little. I am so grateful that I can afford food on the table. I am so grateful that I can afford a Starbucks latte. So you're thanking the universe for the money you already have. If you are trying to attract your dream relationship, thank the universe for the love and abundance you already have in your life. You will attract more of that because you're operating at that frequency of someone who is grateful for already having all of those things. Plus, you are embodying the energy of a person who gets what they want and are fulfilled with what they have in their life. And that links into the law of attraction. The law of attraction is when you don't attract what you want, 
you attract what you are. So it's not, I want happiness, I want money. It's, I am happy and I am financially abundant. You're being grateful for what you already have so you can attract more. Rule number three is detachment. You have to detach from your goals to show the universe that you have the utmost trust that everything is gonna work out for you and that you are worthy and deserving of all of your goals. Now, there is some confusion about this. I don't mean set your goals and then completely forget about them and don't work towards them. Of course, the work needs to be put in. I mean, every single day you are aware of your vision, of the path that you are meant to be on and the lifestyle you're gonna to get to, but you are not obsessing over the outcome. <gasps> but what if this doesn't happen? And what if I don't get it? And what if I'm doing all this work just to fail? No, I am detached. I know where I wanna go. This is what I'm working towards and I'm so grateful that I get to be on this mission. Manifestation rule number four, consistent clarity. Don't skip out on the detail. This is a very common mistake that people make and this is why earlier on I said be careful what you wish for because if you are going around saying, I just wanna be rich, I just wanna make more money, do you want the money or do you want the job or do you want the lifestyle that comes with it? I'm confused. The universe is gonna be confused too. Figure out exactly what you want and then manifest accordingly. So if it's the money, I wanna see this exact amount of zeros in my bank account. I want a job offer of 250,000 with flexible working hours, nice colleagues in a city that I've always dreamed of living in. That's a specific manifestation. I want to be rich so that I can work from anywhere in the world, outsource most of my tasks and spend majority of my days just relaxing. And lastly, manifestation rule number five, patience is a virtue. I started manifesting 100,000 followers on Instagram in 2020. And I only hit that goal last week in 2023. I got exactly where I wanted to be, but I had to wait. It wasn't gonna come within a day or a week. Chapter two, vision boarding, visualization, and reprogramming your subconscious mind. So let's start with vision boarding. The first step here is to write a list in your notes app. Just spend 20 minutes writing down everything you want. And as I said before, get super specific with it. Don't miss out any details. If you're trying to manifest a car, what does it look like? What's the interior? What are the seats like? What color is it? For example, you can't write down, oh, I wanna be a CEO. I wanna be a business owner. You need to include specifics and imagery really helps with this because it will force you to envision yourself living out your dream life. So a very long manifestation of mine was that I always wanted to be an entrepreneur. But in order to have an effective manifestation, I had to get specific about it. So I questioned myself, why do I want to be an entrepreneur? Why do I want to own a business? Where is this coming from? And it's because I wanted to work on my own schedule, do something that mattered to me and also allowed me to help others. So that was my answer. Now I'm specific. I know exactly why I want to be an entrepreneur and what I want to get out of it. So when I was creating my vision board, I decided to put a quote in the middle and the quote read, create a vision that makes you want to jump out of bed in the morning. So I included that quote and some other images on my vision board on top of constantly having Pinterest vision boards. Once I put all of these images down and I could see them every single day, it encouraged me to finally take the leap and start my business. And these two steps go hand in hand, okay? So for example, my jewelry business, Sajana Studio, which I'm wearing right now, is powered by Shopify. Now I had no previous expertise in setting up a business. I had no clue what I was doing, but I knew it was my responsibility to start to actually allow my manifestation to come to life and making the decision to go with Shopify was a game changer and that's because it offers such an easy to use all-in-one e-commerce platform that is available for anyone regardless of your experience with business regardless of your technical ability your ability to set up websites or your ability to start grow and manage a business so I took it one step at a time. And once my vision board was on my wall, it gave me the motivation to get on with it. So I signed up to Shopify. I started designing my website. I took it in baby steps and I had a slow process because I was so new to this. One day I set my website. The next step I was taking pictures of my inventory. The next day I was editing those pictures. And that just goes to show achieving your dreams doesn't have to be overwhelming. So if you two have always dreamed of living out your passion, starting your entrepreneurial journey and waking up every single day to do what you love, then sign up to Shopify to take that first step and signal to the universe that you're ready for that manifestation to come into your life. Yes, there are other methods out there to manifest. You know, there's the 369 method, for example, where you write down your manifestation three times in the morning, six times in the afternoon, and nine times at night. I personally have never done it and I never will do it. I'm a big believer that a successful manifestation is truly down to aligning with the manifestation and matching the energy of it. And vision boarding is the easiest way to be able to do that. The energy that I radiate when I write down my goal, I find a picture online that aligns with it, I print it out and I stick it onto that board, is unmatched. There is so much confidence and hope in that moment that I am choosing to put that picture on my vision board, knowing 
I am holding myself accountable to achieve this now. A lot of people are unsure on how to actually create a vision board, so I'm gonna tell you in the next 30 seconds. Write down a list of goals on your phone, get super specific. Go onto Pinterest, type in what your goals are, find the images that align, save them to your camera roll. Then download an app called Free Prints, print off all your pictures. It will cost you about three pounds, that's just for the shipping, to get 45 free images. I've been using this app for years. Go to your local arts and craft store, find a big poster board, buy some scissors and sellotape or some glue. You cut them to fit the board, you organize them in whatever collage would inspire you the most and then you put it somewhere that you are going to see it every single day. If you want to make it easier for yourself, download Pinterest, save all of the images that represent your lifestyle and keep it in a Pinterest board format or go onto the Canva website, find the images once again, put them into a collage form, save that collage that you created on Canva, set it as your laptop wallpaper or your iPhone wallpaper so you're looking at it every day. And to finish this chapter off, we're gonna be talking about the importance of reprogramming your subconscious mind and the role of visualization in helping you manifest. Now, your subconscious mind. This controls your day-to-day -day life and therefore the way that your life will end up being. And more often than not, our subconscious mind loves to sabotage us. For example, our con in our conscious mind we'll say, I want a healthy, happy, loving, fulfilling, long-term relationship. But our subconscious mind will tell us, you're not worthy of love. Why are you trying to chase a healthy relationship? You love chaos. That's what you experienced in your childhood. End it. End it now. You know that good men don't exist anymore and you also know that you're not pretty enough to get the man that you want. Relationships are just full of hurt so you should stop wasting your time and think realistically. And then you start self-sabotaging all of your dating experiences because your subconscious mind is acting off of your trauma and you don't know how to control it. So the key to having successful manifestations 100% of the time is to have the correct subconscious mindset. And here's how you do it. With visualization. Visualization is all about experiencing the feeling of living out your desires. So let's say you're trying to manifest a text back from someone. You're going to imagine yourself being on your phone and that text coming through. And not only that, but the feeling that you're gonna get when you see that text pop up on your phone. Like I said before, this process is you matching the energetic frequency of receiving your manifestation. It's you acting like you've already got it. So how do you actually implement this? by thinking of scenarios right before you go to sleep. And I know, you probably already do that. Everyone does that. We think about crush, we think about ex, we think of all of these what if situations to help us fall asleep, but no more, okay, no. When you are trying to fall asleep from now on, you are going to think of scenarios of you living out your dream life and you're gonna watch it playing like a movie in your head, okay? Imagine your head is on the pillow, you're trying to fall asleep, okay? Close your eyes, imagine yourself at the Met Gala. Imagine yourself seeing endless amount of zeros in your bank account. Imagine yourself in the happiest, most loving relationship you could have ever imagined. Imagine waking up every single day to do what you love because then you're signaling to your subconscious that that is a possible reality, that you are capable of doing that. And then on top of that, you're spending the last five minutes of your day on a super high energetic vibration which will then influence the vibration that you'll wake up with, which will then influence how your day goes and the energy that you're bringing towards your manifestations, which will then be much more positive and you'll be more likely to succeed in manifesting all of your desires. Chapter three, manifesting using the law of assumption. This is about going into a situation and assuming that your desired outcome is going to happen. You are now going to act like you already have it in the situation. For example, imagine you're in a competition, okay? And you're about to go onto the stage with all of the people you're competing against and get the result. Imagine somebody comes over, whispers to you and says, hey, I saw the results, they're about to announce your name, you're going to win this entire competition. You go onto the stage, you already know you have it, so how are you gonna walk out onto the stage? Super confident, all of your nerves are gonna be gone. You're not gonna be on that stage, in your head, obsessing, stressing, thinking, what if I didn't win this? What if I have to go home and tell everybody that I lost? What if I've wasted all my time competing in this competition? No. You're like, oh, I already have it. So you're strutting out there like your most successful self, even though you haven't been announced as the winner yet. That's how you need to approach your everyday life. Like somebody's constantly whispering to you, this thing you're working towards, you already got it. Piece of cake. This is written in your destiny. Things come to you with ease. And therefore you need to go out every single day dressed like, talking like, acting like, carrying yourself like the person that has it. So that you can match your future self that you're manifesting who has all of the things, all the money, jobs, opportunities, friendships. This law is also heavily dependent on detachment. You cannot be constantly obsessing and worrying about is it gonna happen, is it not gonna happen? 
then you're just not doing law of assumption, okay? You need to be so confident that you deserve your manifestation and that you are able to achieve that goal of yours. The more you detach, the more you attract. Remember that. And you need to carry this confidence into every single situation, most especially when you're failing in life. I set up my first YouTube channel when I was 14 years old. That is nine years ago now. I did it for a year. No one watched it. I didn't get any views and I quit. I focused on my studies and I started again in university. I set up my second channel in 2020. That's three years ago now. And it took me three years to just get 2000 subscribers. Why did I continue? I was growing so slowly. I saw so many others start after me and surpass me. I could have easily let that get me down. I could have let that get into my confidence and affect me and my subconscious mind and think I'm not cut out for this. Oh my God, what if I'm doing this goal and I'm not gonna get it? No, because I was so serious about being able to do YouTube and making this my job and lifestyle that even though the growth wasn't there and the results weren't happening, my delusion saved me and it kept me consistent. In 2023, it took me three months to go from 2,000 subscribers to 100,000 subscribers. Imagine I quit last year because every single video was stagnant. You owe it to yourself to never leave your path and to always keep your vision in mind and know, I don't care when it's gonna come, but it is gonna come. So how do you practice the law of assumption on a day-to-day -day basis? I got you. Let's say you wanna manifest your dream romantic partner. You're not gonna download dating apps. You're not gonna keep obsessively checking if your crush has checked your story. You're not gonna be sliding into guys' DMs. You're not gonna be hoping that certain guys slide into your DMs. You're gonna sit back, relax, focus on your life and leveling up while knowing constantly that the right man that you are seeking out, the man that you have always dreamed of is seeking you out too and he will come into your life when the time is right. So I'm gonna take a year or two to just sit back, be single, focus on myself. This is a true story. This is exactly what I did. And when I was doing this, my vibrational frequency increased. And this is important because this meant that I was matching the vibrational frequency of my desired outcome, which is operating at love and peace and joy once I find that dream man. So if I'm operating all the way up there at happiness and love, that is what I'm going to attract. But if I'm feeling shame and guilt and sadness all the way down here, because I'm single and I'm like, oh, uh, why is everyone else taken? I'm never gonna find true love. Nobody likes me. I have to lower my standards then that energy will repel your dream relationship from coming into your life. Next up, under the umbrella of the law of assumption method, we have two more manifestation methods, which kind of links into this. And this is speak it into existence and act it into existence. And we're gonna be going into speak it into existence first. Now, a great way to do this is affirmations. I'm sure you guys have already heard about this. It's a very popular manifestation method and for a reason. An important rule to remember here is that the universe only understands the words you are using, not the tone. So if all you're doing is complaining about the things that you don't want or dreading that, oh my God, what if I do this, but this happens, I don't want that to happen. Or what if this goes wrong? Or what if I fail at that? All the universe is hearing is the outcome that you keep trying to avoid or the words failure, or what if I don't get this? And then it's gonna give you more of that because that's all you keep speaking about. Your vibrational frequency isn't matching your desire because instead of speaking about the desire in a positive way, you're speaking about the opposite, which is all the things that you don't want to happen. So instead of saying, oh my God, I hope they don't reject me, you're going to say, I am so ready to get this new job and live out my new lifestyle. I'm so excited. That's you putting your faith and trust into the universe and aligning with your dream outcome. And in case you still don't quite get it, of course, let's bring in our girls, Lola and Athena. So Lola says things like, yeah, so I apply to all of these jobs, but I don't know, I just feel like I'm gonna get these emails and they're gonna reject me and I just can't take any more rejections. Yeah, I have my first date with that guy tomorrow, but I'm just so nervous. Like all of the guys I keep meeting are just trash. And it's like, what if I just waste another first date with a guy who can't commit, has loads of issues, projects his trauma onto me and doesn't treat me right, okay? I don't wanna go 50-50 in a relationship again. Oh, I'm just so exhausted. Life is so tiring. All I have to do is work 20 24 seven, come home to my ungrateful family who are constantly so rude to me. I never have any free time to do the things that I want to. Things are so tight with money and life is just not enjoyable in the slightest. And then Athena 
says things like, yeah, so I finally applied to all of those jobs. And you know what? I have a really, really good feeling. Normally I'm nervous about this whole process, but I know that what's meant for me will be, and everything's gonna work out for the best because why wouldn't it? Yeah, so I have that first date with that guy tomorrow. I don't really know him that well, but I'm excited. I feel like I'll just have fun or maybe I'll get a lesson out of it. Either way, I feel like my standards have increased so much lately that eventually I'm gonna attract what I keep trying to manifest. So this is just an exciting process of seeing which guy will be the one. <sighs> you know what life is just kind of stressful at the moment but you know what it's temporary I know that so much abundance and happiness is on its way to me because I keep trying to manifest it like I can just feel that the days are getting closer where I can actually relax all weekend and I have the free time and financial abundance to do what I want to do see the difference so how do you really implement speak into existence into your life you start with the affirmations you can google affirmations you can make them up as you go along there is no right or wrong answer as long as it's positive and as long as you say it in the present tense affirmations are not about oh i want this thing to happen i want to make more money i want to get a better job no I am financially abundant. I have my dream career. In case you're stuck, go on Pinterest, search in affirmations, go on Google Images, search it on TikTok. Everyone puts it out on the internet or make them up so that they align with your very specific goals. And the last manifestation method for this video is act it into existence. This is the most fun manifestation method in my opinion because it's all about playing out your dream lifestyle. For example, I put effort into the way I dress every single day. I buy elevated quality pieces because I wanna be a wealthy woman with a beautiful designer wardrobe. Can I afford the designer clothes yet? No but I'm gonna fake it till I make it. And that's what acting into existence is all about. I'm constantly trying to manifest financial abundance. So another example is if I go shopping and I want something, I buy it for myself. I don't allow myself to get into that mindset of, oh my God, but should I really spend this amount of money? Or like, no, I should be saving money and this is a waste. And like getting into that spiral of feeling guilty for spending your money. Now, of course, be responsible with this. I don't mean go out and buy LV shoes and designer handbags, nuh-uh, okay? I mean, sometimes some of us feel so guilty for just buying an expensive latte from Starbucks, okay? It's a tiny purchase. And do it once in a while, okay? If you are trying to stay, save money, you deserve the latte. Get yourself the damn latte. Because what you're doing then is you're signaling to the universe, I'm abundant with my money. I'm not penny pinching. I'm not trying to save everything because there's a scarcity around money in my life. No, I can go, I can give this five, five pounds away for this latte because that money will come back to me. That is what message you are sending when you engage in that act. So how do you implement this into your daily life? One, if you're manifesting wealth, go and do your work in an expensive, fancy, luxurious hotel lobby instead of your local cafe. To be able to visualize that being your regular everyday environment because that's where you're headed. Two, if you're manifesting being able to just relax, take a seat back, not having to work yourself so hard all the time, then practice slow living. The successful and wealthy do not rush around 24 seven, constantly running to their next stop, being stressed and worried about whether they're gonna make it to work on time, whether they're gonna make enough money that day. They don't live in panic mode, worrying if everything's gonna be okay because they simply know it will be. So instead of trying to be productive every second of your life and stressing yourself out to the max by thinking, if I don't maximize this, this hour, if I don't work all evening, and every weekend then I'm not hustling enough and I'm not going to make it in life that is an example of a scarcity mindset why do you have to work every single second of your life why can't you rest why can't you take a day off if you're trying to manifest confidence better self-image I want you to walk around wherever you're going with the energy that you've already made it in life I do this every single day some of you might think oh it's easy for you to say you've got your life together all of that I mean way before this was my job when I was in university when I was broke when I didn't have a job when I was in unhealthy relationships when I lost my friendships when I was like down in the gutters okay and nothing was going right one thing that has stayed consistent in my life over the last few years is I will walk out like I am on an effing runway because that way you are embodying the energy of your most ideal self and that is the most effective way to manifest and that brings us to the final chapter number four the homework chapter because I'm not going to allow you to leave this video with all of this knowledge and then not actually use it in your lifestyle uh -uh, okay remember the intro to this video I do not want you wasting any of your time googling new manifestation methods that literally make no sense constantly trying to learn from other people how do I manifest how do I manifest you know now you know okay I'm going to give you a few steps to set you up on your journey and then today I want you to do one of these things so then you can actually live out your dream life because you deserve that you know 
Step number one, write an extremely detailed list of all of your goals you can do in your notes app. You can do it on a piece of paper. If you're struggling with specifics, use the five W's. I learned this in school. It's like who, what, where, when, and use that when you're forming each goal. What amount of money do you want in your bank account? When are you gonna spend all of this abundance of money? Where are you gonna get it from? Who is gonna be with you? The list goes on. Two, once you have an extremely detailed list with all of the specifics of your goals, you're gonna create either a real vision board or a digital vision board, somewhere that you can see it every day, either your lock screen, your bedroom wall, just so you're constantly reminded of your goal. Three, you're gonna screenshot the vibrational chart. I want you to keep it in a folder of your phone somewhere where you can see it all the time, just so that you can constantly remind yourself and hold yourself accountable that, was I more positive or negative today? What energy am I constantly putting out into the universe? And is it serving my manifestations or repelling my manifestations? And also use this step to influence yourself to journal with gratitude every single morning or night. I want you to say three things you're, that you're grateful for. Four, master detachment. I have an entire video on this on my YouTube channel. It will be linked in the description. Homework task number five, schedule one activity this week that aligns with your future self. So it could be window shopping at Chanel. You don't have to buy anything, you don't have to spend a penny, but put yourself in that environment, go there in a nice outfit, I do this all the time as well, and just window shop. Sip a cup of tea in a five-star restaurant, literally just a cup of tea. Book a vacation, write the first page of your book, start that side hustle. Step six, write down a list of affirmations that apply to all of your specific goals. So this could be to do with finances, love, relationships, happiness. Step number seven, start reprogramming your subconscious mind. Figure out what are the thoughts that are limiting you? Do you have a lot of self-doubt, a lot of insecurity? Do you fear success? And what are you gonna put into your life to counteract that belief, to prove yourself wrong? And finally, homework task number eight, take the first step. Open a Word document and start writing that book. Open your laptop, start fixing up your resume and apply to the dream jobs. So please don't waste any more time. Go out there, do something today that your future self will thank you for and create your dream life because you got this. And that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I loved filming it. Um, please comment down below. Let me know what you took away from this video. Let me know what you're gonna manifest. Let me know how you're feeling right now after this video because I would love to know. Remember that you can check out the jewelry that I'm wearing. The link is in the description. My business, www.sajanastudio.com. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram so that we can be closer friends. And I will see you in next week's video. I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. Bye.